I'll try it from the left here. If I come out left on a route, I'm always going up and out of spawn just because going straight down that first hill is always a bait. You're adding seconds to wherever you're going. That goes for every position too. I honestly think every class, every weight class should be jetting up and out of spawn into their first hill rather than skiing straight out of spawn. Great stress, thank you from the scene. Not no problem, man. I mean, so for instance, like if I'm heavy, right? Like coming out of here, I'm still not skiing down this shit. I'm skiing up and out just because here, just comparatively, I'm already like 180, 170 on my first hill. And then I'm moving if I'm doing like a hoe run to my second hill. I would also highly recommend if you're going for speed, you basically want to expend as much jets as possible because that'll give you the most like distance and verticality, which will consequently just translate into the most speed. But then as you see, if I just ski straight out of here as a heavy, first hill, 120, 130, like absolutely not. It just, you know, adds on an extra five seconds to whatever you're doing. So, and same on this side. 120, 130, because it's like, where are you taking this afterwards anyway? Like, if you are going for speed, I would highly suggest going this one. But, as you can see, alternatively, for your second hill, you could already be all the way out here. You know? So, I see our red spawn. So again, jetting out and up, out of spawn, never into these first hills. It's always a bait. It's always a bait. No matter what class you are, no matter what, like, pack you're using, just draw like a 100 meter to like 150 meter circle around the spawn that you're coming out of and literally never touch those fucking hills. Ever. <laughs> like, ever. The you get from thrust is just not related to the energy it consumes, so you always want to use thrust whenever... I like to... Whenever you don't have energy, basically. But it's like out here, I can thrust, and like all of a sudden now my first hill is all the way out here. I'm going 240, like already just cooking across midfield. But also, so in terms of skiing, just some quick little tips. So coming up over this hill, I'm going to do this half pipe, right? Where I land down this hill and I go up this one. You'll expect me to get launched vertically, right? But if I release my ski input at the right time, I'll glue to the ground. So like right now. And so that can kind of just be used to like just differentiate your routing. And also be used to just like break the ankles of defenders and shit. Yeah, redirect exactly. Um, it can just be helpful in different scenarios. And so also another tip, if I'm coming down this hill and there's like a chaser camping for me right here looking to like splash damage me when I land, I'll literally just jump the moment I land and just dodge all the splash damage there. And it's a good little fucking break their ankles kind of juke. And then other than that, the only other thing I abuse is like a uh, collision angle. If you collide with any surface within 30 degree angle, there won't be any speed loss, so like, I can just bump off the top of these hills for free. You know, I don't have to worry about anything. And I'm pretty sure that just goes for any surface, honestly. So, I'll try and do one like off the top of this hill by going straight into it off of this little lip. We'll see if it works. Uh, ski engaged and thrusting. So like, I could just go like this and boom, like just get a little bit more verticality off of it to go further into the map, I guess, and just do whatever I want back here, you know? But I mean, you can do any combo you want, but I'm telling you, if you practice both, it'll make you very hard and unpredictable for chasers and anybody who's behind you, you know? Keep in mind also with skiing, I'm 90% sure that the speed cap and drag really gets enforced when you're on the ground. So that little hill there, I call it the twin hill, which is, oops, smurf by the way, in chat. But, uh... It's a really good hill if you can get some speed. Like, that was a quick setup for it, right? But if you did do, like, a out of right spawn setup with more thrusting, since you'll only touch the ground for, like, a brief moment, if you're ever over speed cap, it will only drag you for that split second just because it'll launch you in that direction of the flag. And you'll be right back to just the air drag, which is a lot more negligible than the ground drag whenever you're capping and skiing around. And also, so for instance, like, this is a popular blink grab, right, where I go down this hill through the butt cheek hills, and then I blink down over this, but sometimes if they're really camping, I'll just do this little hop right there, and then I'll just touch it into a little toe grab, you know? Again, it's all about just being, like, unpredictable and adapting to what you see the defense players doing, and consequently just making yourself as hard to hit as possible. Again, right here, magneting so I don't overshoot the flag, or else... 
had I not magneted there, that hill would have just tossed me up and over the stand. So, those are just tips that I do every match, every game, that just help with skiing around all the time. But, like, a lot of these hills, honestly, you know, like, right there, I just would have been shot up. So, it's always good just to magnet. If you think, it will help redirect you into the area you're going in a more timely manner. So, you can either do the from under grab like that. You can go down to here. If they're camping this bowl, then you just do a little jump. And then, boom. It's like a straight shot entry, you know? So, it's just weird shit that you can do. But, it just helps be unpredictable and kind of annoying for defense to deal with. Oh, yeah. Oh, I guess... So that's another thing too. It's kind of like with this little jump that I do off of hills, right? But again, like if people are chasing me, like dude, doing little, like I call it rock skipping, bro, where I just don't touch the ground to minimize the time spent available to like ground pound, you know? Like I'll do the most scuffed, scummy routes, bro. But as you can see, it's just like skipping, just very janky, like over those hills and shit. But yeah, exactly. That shit's fun, you know, because again, if they're setting up ground pounds here, it's like, bop, <laughs> you know, like just, it's so abusable, honestly. It makes it into some very scummy return routes, but if it works, it works at the end of the day in my books, you know. All that ends well as well, so just got to keep it moving. Sometimes with turning, like, I'll try and do a wide route, right, where I would have difficulty turning in on, like, magnet for quick instances on the ground to, like, kind of slow down and increase my turning potential. I go, it's kind of like, if I wanted to turn into stand here, and I know I'm just going, it's like, kind of slow down and scuffed, but like, it's just better than being shot directly along that line or something. It's like, because that's kind of like a magnet drift that would have, you know, I would have shot to the back of the stand there, but instead I was able to just kind of pull it into the left a little bit. Um, but yeah, those are definitely the main instances in which I use that kind of tech. Magneting, collision, and remember it's like anything less than 30 degrees, you can kind of just smack into for free. So, just abuse that shit. That's my little skiing guide.